Ministry of Corporate Affairs has announced revised Schedule 6 of Companies Act of India, which is implemented from April 2011, that will bring about wide-ranging changes in India's financial landscape, bringing it more closer to IFRS convergence. To bring to you all these changes, CCH has published a practical guide to revise Schedule 6 with XBRL taxonomy and business rules. To throw more light on this issue, we have the authors of this book with us, Dr. Sanjeev Singhal and Mr. R. Shankaraya. Dr. Singhal, you have covered taxonomy and business rules of XBRL in the book. What is the relevance of this new development to accountants and corporations? This taxonomy and business rules, you know, is a very interesting development in the financial reporting spectrum in India. This was much awaited development. This is already there in a large part of the world. What this will bring in is the transparency. Then a time for analysis. I see going forward something which has not happened in the world and which India can take lead on to establish a central repository whereby all the requirements of various laws of filing various documents can be consolidated and brought out in the form of a consolidated guidance whereby a company or an entity can be required to fill all those forms in a standard format and then the various taxation and the other regulatory authorities can be asked to retrieve that information from that central repository. This will also bring in transparency, this will save time and apart from that this will also take care of one of an important observation of the ministry whereby the ministry has said that people are filing different information for different authorities. So this step will take us a long way ahead in the international scenario. Mr. Shankaraya, so what are the unique features of your book, a practical guide to revise Schedule 6 with XBRL taxonomy and business rules? There are a lot of wealth of knowledge available across the, across the professionals who can write a wonderful book. But what may be lacking, what I believe is that the practical experience. What is more important is the life to the book which has to be given with the practical experience rather than the real story which is or the theory which is repeated. What we see is interpreting the theory into practical terms and how it, how it has an effect when people are really wanted to implement that on a day to day basis. So that is where with this when we wanted to do for ourselves, we have found out what all the various difficulties which has been encountered by our team. So that has been really translated in, the, in this book and brought the practical experience so that the people who are coming out, rather implementing this, they will find it much more easy to understand. That is why one of the parts if you see in the book, what we have really done is taken the real trial balance of the one of the companies of course with the certain modifications not to really disclose the numbers and the facts and figures then we were, we were trying to do that in both old schedule 6 and revised schedule 6 how exactly it will have have an impact so that people can really understand line by line what is the effect of this revised schedule 6 the uniqueness of this is the practicality if you see the key features of this uh, book, the comparison between old Schedule 6 and the revised Schedule 6, that is one chapter we have covered. The illustrative financial statement and grouping both under old Schedule 6 and new Schedule 6, that has been elaborated in detail. I would like to add uh, to what Mr. Shankaraya has already stated. The book also gives the MCs circular number. Uh, I mean a circular which is issued on June 7, 2011 which is the latest on XPRL which has consolidated and, and superseded all other existing circulars. Then the guidance on XPRL including the final taxonomy and the business rules including the practical guidance on how to file it in the MCA system has also been given. We also gave a glossary of the terms under the revised schedule 6, accounting standard as well as XPRL. For the purpose of easy reference, we have given the text of the old Schedule 6 and the revised Schedule 6. And another very important feature of the book, there is a free CD which contains the final taxonomy, final business rules as notified by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. And for the ease of understanding, a PowerPoint presentation 
on the comparison between the old Schedule 6 and revised Schedule 6, as well as a PowerPoint presentation on the guide to balance sheet and profit and loss account under the revised Schedule 6 has also been given. So I am sure that people would find a number of USPs in the book. We will be very happy if you are actually you are guided in your implementation of the revised Schedule 6 and XBRL and to give us your valuable feedback. Uh, we feel that uh, it, is a, it, is, it is a good opportunity for us to present immediately after the revised Schedule 6 and XB, XBRL taxonomy has come into play. So this will be the first book which has the practical guidance uh, to the industry.